some rivers now, and I've added a river, even though it's not in our viewing area, there is a reason I put the Lumber River, which goes right through Lumberton, because a lot of folks travel 995. We know it's closed up here, but uh, we'll talk about the Lumber River last. We've got the Noose River that goes into New Bern. We're gonna talk about some of the areas in our viewing area there. The Cape Fear River, which comes down through Lillington and into Fayetteville, where that man was. And then the Little River by uh, Manchester, which is in Northern Cumberland County, will feed into the Cape Fear River. So those are the rivers, just to give you some perspective. We know the tar is up here and uh, the Rocky River's around, but we're just gonna concentrate on these rivers and start you with the noose that you saw flows to New Bern and out into the Pamlico Sound. Currently, it's at about the height it's gonna get. It's supposed to crest uh, tonight at 10.4 feet above flood stage, not by too much, so some minor flooding. The Noose River Greenway at Covered Bridge Road will flood. Then we go downriver on the Noose to the Smithfield uh, gauge, and we've got 18 feet, so it is flooding, and it's gonna crest tomorrow pretty close to where it is tonight, but it'll go a little higher tomorrow at 18.5, and then it is going to go down, but Smithfield Park probably flooding right now as we speak. And then in Goldsboro, where all that rain fell, well, it's uh, at 22 feet, four feet above flood stage today. It's gonna get to 26.7, but note it's not gonna peak until Wednesday, and it's gonna stay above flood stage, as I mentioned, all week, at least the noose will. And when it gets over 26 feet, that threatens to close US 117, or they'll get some water on it. So let's go to the Cape Fear River, 11.3. It's technically not flooding right now, but it will get up to 24.7. All the rain that's fallen is gonna be feeding into the Cape Fear uh, river and we're going to see that at 24.7 feet on Tuesday and storm drains on the east bank are underwater and flooding reaches the Howard's barbecue if you know where that is if it gets to 27 hopefully it will not get there here's what we're talking about with Fayetteville by the way you know even Lillington that if that gets to that that is higher than it was in Matthew this is definitely higher than Matthew's peak it's at 38 feet it's above flood stage it's going to be Tuesday 62.3 but it's not going to go below flood stage at least through Friday hopefully over the weekend it will and when you get up to 62.3 uh, you got water going on the bypass to the left of the North Carolina 24 bridge and thousands acres could flood. I mean, we're getting there with a lot of flooding. You saw all the pictures down there, so you know that. And the Manchester Gauge and the Little River in northern Cumberland County, this would be a record higher than anything gotten in Matthew. If it gets to 34.2 feet coming up Tuesday, it's at 24 right now. Flood stage is 18, and when you get to 34 feet, you got water reaching Bragg Boulevard. So we've added the Lumber uh, River at Lumberton. Flood stage is 13 feet. Currently, it's 24. It's going to crest tomorrow 25.6 and it doesn't look like it'll go below flood stage and through Friday. But here's the problem. At 24 feet, water floods I-95 between exits 17 and 19. So not only do we have a chunk of I-95 closed that you know about from the, we talked about since yesterday with Johnston County and the Harnett County area, we're going to have another chunk underwater uh, right there as we head at 24 feet. It's probably underwater right now, and I think it is. I think they have reported that uh, between exits 17 and 19. 